And so now you're taking existing elements and kind of re-creating them. Yeah. In, 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 in the moment. Because I thought yeah. was interesting was one of your questions about the fear of digital performance manipulation. It's like actors' performances have been manipulated from the very beginning, right? This is one of the criticisms that theater performers basically uh, attacked cinema as an early art form. You know, it wasn't a real performance because it was just created in the editing. Mm. You know, Eisenstein's very, the very idea and the way that they teach, you know, cinema, here's a baby, here's an expression, here's a dead body, here's an expression. You know, the juxtaposition creates performance all the time and manipulates an actor's performance. And then it gets even more kind of strange and uh, you know, you, you decide to use a moment where somebody's just crossing a doorway. He wasn't, that wasn't necessarily the moment that the actor was intending for a scene or, yeah, right. you know, You've a mic. You've and the, the guy's about to, like, cut the camera and the actor does something funny. Oh, wow, that's not bad. Let's get that. Let's no. steal that. <laughs> <laughs> and put it in. That's right. And then in the same way, you know, you, you know, they're, they're actors they don't sometimes get what the director wants. And so in the post process, you begin taking little parts or inflections or words and creating a performance, you know? I mean, legendary stories about this throughout the history of cinema. So yeah. performance is always created in the editing room. It's part of what editing is.